Agency? Uh, you know, clinical trials are in our DNA, they're in our blood. Everything we know about how to treat breast cancer today or other kinds of cancers is because of the clinical trials that we've done in the past. This is a, a way for us to take this really great science and to, in a very thoughtful way, bring it into human investigation and ultimately into clinical practice, we hope, um, using the same rigor that we use in the laboratory. You know, we want to make sure that we understand what we're doing, um, how to do it the most effectively, the best way to use the treatment, um, the most appropriate place to use the treatment, what are the side effects, what are the benefits. And so this very well worked out clinical trial mechanism has emerged that allows us to do early trials, first in human trials, and then when they're more effective to think about how to take them into a little bit more advanced testing. And then ultimately, of course, we hope that our new approaches will be able to replace um, some of our older uh, approaches. I think lots of times people are worried about clinical trials as participants that they'll be guinea pigs, that they'll be experimented on. I, I guess I would say as a medical oncologist that, that every time we talk with a patient about treatment, we're of course thinking about a sort of an experiment for her um, and or him, and that one of the important things we do in trials is to do this in a very well thought out and well supervised, um, well scrutinized setting. And we do it in a way that not only do we provide the best possible care for that individual patient in front of us, but we had the opportunity to learn something along the way for other people and for that patient.